I mean, this is just a wonderful opportunity for coaches in Auckland to have a man of this calibre, a man that the, uh, that the Premier League in England uses for their promising players. I mean, I know he's done clinics in Arsenal and other clubs such as that, high clubs in the uh, English Premier League. So, yeah, it's a huge, huge uh, privilege for us, and we're very proud of that. Uh, bueno, en realidad, digamos, el, uh, con los jugadores más pequeños hemos hecho solamente un entrenamiento. Uh, deberíamos hacer más para conocerlos un poco mejor. Me parecen de un nivel aceptable. Uh, evidentemente, Oakland no es un gran, un gran equipo y el nivel me parece más que aceptable uh, para poder trabajar con ellos muy bien en los conceptos que para nosotros son importantes en el juego. Y en cuanto al primer equipo, me, me gustó muchísimo la filosofía que tiene como equipo. Está claro que quiere jugar el balón, que quiere tenerlo. Es una idea parecida a la nuestra o, o en la misma línea y por lo tanto me, me parece muy bien que tan lejos de Barcelona pues exista también esta idea de, creativa del juego. Although only having one training session with the with, with the youth players, I can see they're of a, they're of a, you know, a good level. Um, of course, we'd like to work with the players a little bit more to to find out more about them. But you know, you can see that the the ideas and the and, and the concepts are, are already there in the players. And and with regards to the first team, I was I was very impressed in in the game I, I saw them play. Uh, again, the it's clear to see the team and the club has has a clear idea, uh, a philosophy, and I find it fascinating that being so far away from. From Barcelona, we can see uh, some some evidence of, of some similar ideas happening uh, so far away. I think it's fantastic. I think obviously it's a great privilege to have someone here so obviously so experienced and so recognised around the world. I think it's obviously great for our coaches here in the region, obviously around the country too. Yeah, I mean it's been a fantastic uh, event. Juan's put on a, a really informative uh, presentation for us this morning. Um, there's plenty of people here and you can see everyone's taking notes like very concisely and listening and very intent to what's what's going on. Yeah. I think just the way they look to structure things in terms of how they how they look at the game I think has been key around the players and how they look to develop those players has been massive learning for me. Hemos hablado un poco, no no demasiado, pero me gustaría claro hablar un poco más de conceptos pero aunque parezca extraño, la verdad es que no tenemos tiempo. Estoy muy ocupado todos estos días con las cosas relacionadas con, con el club. Me gustaría hablar un poco más profundamente con Ramón, claro. Good. We've uh, we've we've spent a couple of uh, a couple of moments together. Probably not enough to uh, to, to go into any great depth and detail. Uh, but we have spoken a little bit. And uh, the funny thing is, I've been so busy since since I've got here. Um, we, we haven't found the time, but I'm sure, as you saw before, before I head back home, I'll be, you know, I'll be uh, very interested to sit down and talk to him in a bit more detail. It's fascinating. It's a, it's a fascinating presentation. There's a lot of the fundamentals that he's describing and explaining to us um, through his systems and, and the experiences that he's done at Barcelona that, that we're quite fortunate that we, we implement here already at Auckland City. Um, a lot of our processes and training and, and the way we implement and our own structures are developed in, in what we're seeing in the presentation. It's, yeah, it's like the like. It's, he's got a fantastic reputation and it's a real privilege to be able to host him. I mean, we started forming a relationship, I guess you'd call it that, way back about three or four years ago, maybe five years ago, at the uh, IFFHS, uh, where, they, where they sought out the um, champions of the decade of, for all the uh, confederations throughout the world. And we were obviously the federation champion here in Oceania uh, for the last 10 years, and so was Barcelona. And at the official function in Europe to pick up the trophy, um, we actually happened to be sitting at the same table as the Barcelona boys, and it started from there, and we spent a couple of hours with them there. We've been to a couple of World Cups, and it's, we also went on to send a junior team there this year. And we're starting to build, I, I guess it's the very, very early stages of a relationship that hopefully will lead somewhere in the future and this, this having a wine out here at the moment is just unbelievable for us. Auckland City Football Club and the Auckland City Trust have been phenomenal in their support. We had him with Graham Henry for three hours the other night and he just loved that. He actually took, I think, eight pages of notes and there was a lot of similarities between the two. Um, the way that Barcelona run their first team and Graham was when he was at the All Blacks. Um, he's been out west, he's been over the shore, he's been to Devonport, him and his wife have travelled extensively and to be fair, they love the city. They call it paradise, um, they would do anything to move over here. So 
You never know what could happen in year three and year four.